tribes of Midgard. Been uh, trying this again lately. Took a little break for a while. The weird thing is, uh, the randoms seem to have gotten worse in the game. It's like the longer the game's been out, the worse the randoms are. It's gotten to the point where I generally just connect to a world and see, okay, these people are idiots and it's doomed, so I have to basically wait until we defeat the first giant and then pour it out and collect my golden horn. Although I have gotten lucky and gotten some additional golden horns by, I think with the help of the lucky loot rune from the uh, harvester starter kit that I usually use. Lucky Loot Rune is pretty handy in my opinion, so uh, yeah, that's generally the starter kit I've gone with. Plus, being able to harvest things to begin with is pretty nice. I've gotten 5 out of 6 classes unlocked. Uh, the Berserker seems pretty much impossible to unlock, at least for me. You know, I see people playing it, but they probably got a group together and finagled something abnormal to do it, and I don't, I don't really have a group, I always just um, am playing with randoms, so I'm kind of at the mercy of, of that. Got some uh, cosmetics recently, got those boots and the pants to go with them. I have some other stuff, but I'm not using it right now. get going on the usual randomness, and uh, who knows, maybe we'll find people who know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, generally it's been like one clueless, selfish group after another. Uh, a lot of them don't donate anything to the war chest at all, which is a sure clue as to uh, the doomed quality of a given world. There are two dead giveaways um, early on, like between like day one to three. If you don't see any donations in the war chest other than from yourself, and if you don't see other people trying to upgrade the tinkerer as a priority first uh, before the other NPCs, then basically get out via Bifrost as soon as you can, because that world is going down. And that's the way it's been for most most of my attempts lately. Uh, players have gotten worse, they've gotten a lot more selfish. They actually used to work together a lot more like when I first started playing the game, but now it's everybody's selfish, everybody's out for themselves. It seems weird to pay money for a co-op game in order to uh, be like that, but uh, it's gotten to the point where I feel sort of stupid if I end up being generous with anyone they're generally not generous with anybody else, so I'm just like, if I see other people trying to work together, then I will. Otherwise, I'm not going to bother. Just lately, I've uh, been feeling kind of like a sucker <laughs> whenever I, I do the nice person thing and everybody else is just out for themselves. <laughs> both in the game and in real life, come to think of it. I just get tired of being, being in that position. You can either be the responsible one or the selfish bastard. I'm like, just running out of incentive to be anything other than just as selfish as everyone else. bit of healing here. Just trying out that green hair dye, just got it unlocked. Hey, random level up. I guess I don't need to get healed then. Let's see if the Tinkerer is upgraded yet. Okay, yeah, this world is probably screwed. No one has even a single soul into upgrading her. But we'll see, it's still day one. But yeah, that's the way things have gone. Um, 
I've been trying out the Warden and the Seer recently. The nice thing about the Warden, in addition to the other stuff, is, you know, uh, the Dwarven Maid Blessing, I guess they're called. Um, not having to deal with durability is kind of nice. So I'm going to try that again. But, uh, yeah, the classes are all pretty fun in their own way. And I'm just going to ignore the existence of the Berserker class since I'm I'm just never going to unlock it. I got, I got really tired of trying. So if they're going to make it that difficult to unlock, then I'm not really interested. Hello. Of course, they prioritize the blacksmith. Good answer. I want to wait on that. Hello. Just I found a bit of leather. Hope I handsome. Packer. Because we like wearing pants. It's a pants. Sell, sell. And a tunic, even though you should never trust anyone wearing a tunic. No. How do you deal? Sell, sell. Alright, she's level 2 now. Uh, could use some more stone. Alright, got my stone tools. Looks like that quest giver is that way. Although it's getting darker. Maybe I'll grab a couple things in the immediate area. And then uh, come back and defend defend the old village. My trusty bow. I could uh, go back and make a sword with that iron I found. I think I'll do that. Oh, and uh, I don't think I made a shield for myself Welcome. yet either. Let's go to the UT. Uh, let's see. Donate the souls somewhere. Maybe I'll put them towards an archer tower or something. Uh, Don't have any shoes left. Or, no, I never had it. It's like I ran out of shoes. What am I saying? Don't have any shoes yet. guys. This is always good. When this happens right off the bat. Pretty much... Yeah, this world's not gonna last long. But I don't know. At least people started upgrading the Tinker 
Don't care a bit. Yeah, getting that first upgrade is pretty important. Probably try a different game later, um, but I can make that a separate recording. Here? Yeah, another dead giveaway. No one's donating anything, which means I'm not going to donate anything of value. I'm just going to donate a few random things that are usable later on in various recipes, but for now. You guys just get the random crap since you're not willing to share anything useful with me. It's kind of been my new policy in general. It's like, you want my help? You gotta demonstrate that you're willing to uh, do the same. Otherwise, you're on your own, just like I always have been. Should be able to get that archer tower built.
Kadukuni. Motsucker. Yo. Gonna have to upgrade her in order to make more cut stone. People aren't really contributing much to anything. Anything to the warches. Somebody put five wood in there. That's it. That's all they've done. I'll just keep putting random pine guns and needles. Anytime you guys want to contribute more than that, you just let me know. I think I can make a little more armor. Hey, dude. Laser Zunat. Laser Mera. Hacker. Says Cortum. All right, got the basic. Set out of the way. I love how they're like, they're dumping souls in here, but they're not doing some very necessary upgrades yeah. to the NPCs here. We need more for them. Not to mention some defenses. But now let's just randomly put like 200 and some odd souls in the big fountain. Which is the drop in the bucket for that. This world is going down like pretty much every other that I've been in recently. Done, everyone. Couldn't even defeat one uh, giant before that happened. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said earlier, every single randoms match that I've gone to has been a similar train wreck. But they, often they can last long enough to defeat one giant. 
so that you can get one measly golden horn before leaving. But that that time you didn't even get to do that. It's just pathetic. But unfortunately that's the quality of the randoms that have been uh, playing the game recently. It's just, I don't know, just player quality has gone way down and it was never that great to begin with. They've always been fairly selfish. Like whenever you're in a game where, you know, it's just you and a bunch of randoms, they always do things like steal loot from you when you kill a creature. They'll they'll grab everything they can before before you. At least that's the goal. And then you end up having to be a sleaze bag and do that right back to them if you want to get anything, or if, you, if you're trying to build something which would benefit them. <laughs> But they just have to grab everything for themselves, and then they don't share resources, they won't put anything into the war chest, and then, like I said, that's how you know a world is really screwed, when you've just got more randoms like that, and lately that's all it's been. In fact, as I said, I've been encountering that kind of person in real life a lot, too, and in my online and streaming existence, but I'd, I'd rather not dwell on that anymore. Those who know me know the score, as far as that goes. Those who don't will soon find out for themselves. Hey, dear. Happy roof, dear. Take care. Ja. Kamsam till helt. Kamsam till helt. Hej sina värld. Tack för oss där. Mok tackar. Oh yeah, let's pick up a quest. 
It was weird, people have been pretty gung-ho about uh, upgrading NPCs in this one, but they didn't do a good job at all of defending the uh, place from attackers, so it's already well into the yellow, which isn't good. Not always sure which quest I'm gonna be able to do, but let's try a seer this time. Although I do hate dealing with uh, weapon durability and so forth. But can't play the warden all the time though. This tempered thing is kinda cool. See the quest givers over there, and I think the Jotun is to the north, pretty much somewhere. I probably won't be able to reach it directly. But yeah, I could go off this way. Treasure in there. We're there. Nice thing about that tempered blessing is you can go into places like this. Although I'm a little underpowered to be here, but at least I can be here without dying of heat exhaustion. starting up. That's a handy ability of the Seers also. Yeah, 
as water is instant death for anyone in this land. It's kind of weird. Okay, I'm really underpowered for that. Area. But I could still just bust this down. Goodies from doing that. Just don't want to get the attention of any creatures in there. Is there a shrine nearby? Not really. I think I'll weigh stone back. Takes a while to recharge that. It's a good usage of it. It was about that time. Let's see. Do that. And that. And almost that. I think we can do it now. Alright. See that? Like it dropped something and someone instantly stole whatever it dropped. That's that's the kind of player you get when you have randoms around. And you kinda have to unless you have ten friends that you trust. I'm lucky if I have one. I got that archer tower made, but yeah, things are looking a bit grim, I would say. Find that Yotun and defeat it, and then get out of dodge. That's been the usual routine lately. Hello. These people are just not good enough for anything else. Hey, dear. Might want to make a, an additional bow. Good answer. Let's try to get out there before everything is destroyed. Oh, looks like they opened up a shrine near that quest giver. Maybe I can triangulate. Figure out where the Yotun is. Because it says it's northeast of here, and this is the most northerly shrine that I've encountered. Piedia, that oh, Please let me cancel it. Oh my god. Game. Oh my god. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, that was the dumbest fucking thing. Oh my god, it's, she sucked me into it again. Yeah, you can't back out of this shit. Uh, unless... Like, I'm, I'm madly hitting circle, it's not doing anything. That is the dumbest fucking thing. I'm sorry, but this game just still needs work. The fact that that shit can happen, and frequently does. And now I'm madly chugging potions to recover from damage that I never should have taken in the first place. And I don't know what she said or what she wanted because I was busy getting killed. Yeah, that's so incredibly stupid. Just mind-numbingly stupid. I'm sorry, but it just it hits my pet peeves something fierce when they they know situations like that exist in the game and they choose not to fix it or do anything about it. Great. Yeah, this place is never gonna survive a blood man. So just try to get to that Yotun. But I don't know. Do do you get a little tired of being in one doomed world after another? Just it just instills a sense of futility. And like I said, I already have enough of these problems in real life, like both with untrustworthy people who should be working with you but are just out for themselves and things like that. And just the whole no matter what you try you're doomed sort of feeling. That's no picnic either. <laughs> I can't believe that just missed. Well, at least we found the bastard. Too late to do anything about it, though. So now we have to go back and deal with the fact that there's a blood man coming.
Because everybody's coming along to fuck with me. Is, like, anybody else defending the village? This might be yet another one that gets destroyed before I get a chance to get out. my cue. <laughs> Goodbye, people. <laughs> it's been pathetic. As usual. Look forward to failing with more of you randoms again sometime. It's all they deserve. 